Oh, hi there, children. This is Teacher Connie. Welcome to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. Are you ready now for our online discussion? Come, let's start. Today, we will talk about how to read and write decimal numbers. Steps on how to read decimal numbers. First, read the whole number. Second, say the word AND for the decimal point. And lastly, read the digits to the right of the decimal point as if you're reading a whole number, then say the place value of the last digit. Children, let's have some examples on how to read decimal numbers. I have here a place value chart wherein the last column is allotted for read us or the equivalent number word. Let's have the first example. The digit 0 is written in the 1's place, 5 in the 10's place. This number reads us 0 and 5 tenths or simply 5 tenths. The second example has a digit 2 in the 1's place, 6 in the 10's place, 4 in the 100's place. This number reads us 2 and 64 hundredths. The third example has a digit 0 in the 1's place, 4 in the 10's place, 0 in the 100's place, 5 in the 1000's place. This number reads us 0 in 405 thousands or simply 405 thousands. The last example has a digit 3 in the 1's place, 2 in the tens place, 9 in the hundreds place, 0 in the thousands place, 5 in the ten thousands place. So this number reads us 3 and 2,905 ten thousands. Now, let us learn how to write decimal numbers. We have here a decimal number written in number word 1 and 8 tenths. The first step is to write the whole number if there's any. Otherwise, write 0 as the placeholder, then write the decimal point. In this example, there is a whole number which is the digit 1. Then we will write the decimal point for the word AND. The second step is to determine the number of decimal places by identifying the place value of the last digit in the decimal. So the last digit is in the tenths place, so therefore we only have one decimal place. Third step is to write the digits in its proper place value. And we will write 8 in the tenths place. Therefore, this is the number figure 4, 1, and 8 tenths. Example number 2, 9,106 ten thousandths. First step is to write the whole number if there's any. Otherwise, write 0 as the placeholder, then write the decimal point. In this example, there is no whole number, so we will write 0 as the placeholder, and we will write also the decimal point. Second step, determine the number of decimal places by identifying the place value of the last digit in the decimal. The last digit in the decimal is 6 and it is located in the 10,000th place. Therefore, there would be four decimal places in our example number 2. Third step is to write the digits in its proper place value. So we will write 9,106. So this is the number figure for example number 2, which is 9,106. 
10,000. Example number 3. 40 and 971 thousandths. The first step is to write the whole number if there's any. Otherwise, write zero as the placeholder, then write the decimal point. In this example, there is a whole number and that is 40. Then we will write the decimal point for the word and. Second step is to determine the number of decimal places by identifying the place value of the last digit in the decimal. And in this case, the last digit is 1. And it is located in the thousands place. Therefore, there would be three decimal places in the number. Third step is to write the digits in its proper place value. So we will write the digits 971. So this is the number figure for example number 3, which is 40 and 971 thousandths. All right, children, let us apply what you have learned earlier by answering the following practice exercise. Write the number word for each decimals. You are given 10 seconds to answer each number. Number one. Ready? Go. And the correct answer is five hundredths. Number two. Ready? Go. And the correct answer is 1,753 ten thousandths. Number four. Ready? Go. And the correct answer is 1 and 71 thousandths. Last number. Ready? Go. And the correct answer is 10 and 10 hundredths. For the second part of the practice exercise, you are asked to write the decimal number for each number word. And you are given 5 seconds to answer each number. So let's start. Number 1. 246 ten thousandths. Ready? Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 246 ten thousandths. Number 2, 6 and 48 thousandths. Ready? Go! And the correct answer is 6 and 48 thousandths. Number 3, 26 and 8 tenths. Ready? Go! And the correct answer is 26 and 8 tenths. Number 3, 247 thousandths. Ready? Go! And the correct answer is 247 thousandths. For the last number, 712 and 11 ten thousandths. Ready? Go! And the correct answer is 712 and 11 ten thousandths. That's all for now, children. See you soon in our next online learning journey. See ya!